Saturday night and Sunday afternoon. The St. John's Ice Caps wrap up their season opening homestand as they host the Bridgeport Sound Tigers. Tickets available right now at the box office. Mile1Center.com or 576-7657. Get the season schedule at stjohnsicecaps.com. Lot of uh, heart and soul into the that. Here's a feed by Lear Rodley, intended for Brandon McLean. Couldn't get much on it. Eric O'Dell. Oh, and he went ran in there and gave O'Dell a chance. It's loot down there, and Andrew Hammond flat on his back. Then a cross check and a penalty coming up with Sadeo. Broussard just simply flips it out. Now a chance, Lippon, busting it on goal! Great save, Andrew Hammond, as J.C. Lippon stormed in. Offense we've seen from St. John's here tonight as Zingle tried to waltz in and he got flattened as Keaton Ellerby and Will O'Neill gave a nice cap sandwich. Here's an opportunity and here comes Comier. Here's his short-handed chance going in a goal! Oh, and another great save by Andrew Hammond. That's two breakaways. For Fenham, give and go to Balassi. Stutter step and a feed here for Patrice Cormier. With the gun, he's gone! It's Patrice Cormier! Oh, baby, what a rocket! It's back for Grant. He doesn't shoot. He'll go to Clayson. Clayson with a wrister. Buddha made the save, but they pop home the rebound. Nobody picked up Carter Camper. And he is able to deposit that puck into the net. Albert got in there, Ballacy tried to clear, nothing doing. Here's the shot they score from the blue line. Patrick Mullen and the ice caps line of Albert, Ballacy and Pittsburgh are trapped. Albert getting it here for Chase Ballacy. This line would love to tie the score here. Kingberg scores! Right there, Harold Pittsburgh. And they're back into even Stephen Hockey. Back. Here's Grant trying to settle things down. Wideman stepping up, threw it in front. What a save by Peter Budai. Senators up there. Here's Pumple. Backdoor feed. They score. Wideman joins the rush. And the Binghamton Senators win it in overtime on a goal by Chris Wideman. I mean, if you remember last year, too, I mean, we weren't uh, a very high scoring team right off the bat either. I mean, young guys find their find their game. They're just getting comfortable out here. And we've got some guys who with skill, young guys with skill. So I mean, it's just a matter of time before they find their game and, and they feel comfortable out there and can finish on their chances. And they're not gripping the stick so tight. I yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, obviously, a defenseman. It's it's an unusual place to be when you got two of you going on down on a rush. But uh, yeah, it's it's good. I mean, it opens up the ice. Obviously, you get to freewheel a little bit and. Uh, you know, it was, uh, it was a good overtime for us, fun overtime, but obviously, uh, you know, not the ending that we Remember, I'm, I like the traditional way for myself, so I would prefer five on five is the way I like it. Is it enjoyable for the fans, three on three? Without a doubt it is. Um, you know, I thought anytime you go three on three, it's gonna open it wide up with chances going both ways. Um, you know, if you're not able to, um, to get out after a shot or a rebound, it's gonna be an odd man rush the other way. So uh, exciting for the fans, but, uh, but for me, I'm, I'm a five on five guy and let the best team win. Um, I thought we did a lot of good things tonight. Um, you know, we played the most games in the American Hockey League right now. I believe we're 13 days into the season and we played seven games already. So uh, pretty tired group in there. And on top of that, we've had uh, uh, a ton of injuries already early. That's tested us, but um, there's some areas that we're going to need to improve on, but I thought the uh, the steps that we've taken these last couple of games here uh, have been real positive.